Hey y'all, my name is Corey Ashton and welcome to another WordPress Wednesday. I'm gonna show you how to build out a gorgeous masonry photo gallery on your WordPress website. I'll show you two different options. I'll show you the Divi option if you're running on the Divi theme and a lot of you who follow my channel are running on that Divi WordPress theme. But if you're not using that theme, I'm gonna show you an option that is for any WordPress theme out there. Both of these options though are pro or paid options for this type of feature, but it's not that expensive. So I'm gonna walk you through how to install it, how to set it up. Just get ready to be blown away. This is gonna be so cool. Remember, this is brought to you by LearnDash. When you're ready to get your courses online, be certain to look for LearnDash. It is the number one WordPress LMS out there. You can offer paid courses, free courses, memberships. You can offer quizzes. It's really, really a cool feature. Be sure to check that out. I'll put that link in the description box below as well. Let's get to the tutorial and show you how to build something really magical and very cool for your WordPress website. So for those of you that are Divi users, this is the plugin that I wanna brag about. And I'll put the link to this in the description box below. You can visit elegantthemes.com and check this out. Uh, this is the example that I'm showing you that I'm using on any of the Divi sites. I'll also show you that non-Divi version for anybody else using a different theme uh, for your WordPress website. But this is the one, as of today, right now, it's they're running their anniversary sale, so there's a little bit of a discount. Looks like regular price is $19 a year. Remember, that's a yearly license, and it's on unlimited websites. So you can take this thing and really, really get your money's worth as you use it across any of your websites. Let me show you how to plug this one in and get started with the Divi Gallery Extended. After you've purchased it, you'll be able to jump into your WordPress website we wanna go into the plugins area and add new, right? And then you go up here to the top that says upload plugin because this isn't coming through the regular repository area. This is coming directly uh, from your download. So you'll choose the file and remember that you're installing the zipped version, right? So it should just be straight. As soon as you download it, you should be able to go straight into using it and click activate the plugin. All right, now that that's right there, uh, something really cool that you can do is go into your media area now and now you've got this little section that says media categories. Can you see that? If you click on that, you can actually create albums, if you will, or categories for images. I'm just gonna say team and click add new. You can do anything for the examples that I showed you earlier. You know, these are the featured images that live on the home page. So that's the category that I created there, featured. Uh, really makes it look cool and, and allows us to just add it into that home page. Um, for this particular one, these are um, projects, right? Showcasing your work. You can add in different types of categories and albums that way. But jumping back in here, I've got one that says team now. Now you're gonna go into your library and you just do a search for any of the images that you've already got in here. You're gonna see a lot of crazy stuff in here. Let's see if I can do a quick search. So I've got a couple of team members here that we can add. Um, and let's do some team shots in there. And I want you to see all the different size images that you've got going on in here, right? Different orientations. You've got some vertical, some horizontal, some square. Uh, really interesting, unique, different shapes going on in here. So um, just so you can kind of get an idea of what it could look like when these stack up really cool. So I'm just gonna throw a few in there. Now that I've done that, notice exactly what I was doing there as well. All you're doing is coming in here to the actual image itself. Notice here, attachment category. You'll have all of them listed there once you've created that category. I'm just gonna add it into team. Now that that lives there, when I go back over to my media categories, you see this category, and you see that I've got nine images. See this right here, this count? I've got nine images living in there. If I click on that, it'll show me the exact images that live inside of this really cool media gallery. So now I can go add a new page or go into any existing Divi page, right? We can go anywhere using our module for this. Give it a title of masonry gallery example for the page, right? And I went ahead and clicked publish. Let's go in here to the front side because I prefer to build on the front side. Let's enable the visual builder. 
And if you're familiar with Divi, you know you've got these three options. We're just gonna go ahead and build from scratch. I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, one row, right? No columns. And check this out. Now that I've got that installed, we've got different options here for gallery. So normally if you just do a search for gallery, you've got masonry gallery, dynamic masonry gallery, and gallery. So masonry gallery would be you just kind of picking them on the fly and creating a really cool gallery. If we wanted to reference the gallery that I just made for team, I'm gonna choose dynamic gallery, number of images. I knew that there was nine, so I'm just gonna go ahead and say nine. And then it's gonna ask me to select the category and I'm selecting team. Notice by default, let me slide this out of the way. Notice by default, it sets it up with four columns, gives me a little bit of nice padding in between each, but see right away how beautifully they all stack. And remember, this is just gorgeous on cell phone view as well. It'll restack itself on cell phone view. So gotta love it. Uh, gotta love this plugin. It's just a really cool plugin that makes this happen. I wanna show you though how I extend it out and make it really beautiful full width. So we're gonna go here into the row settings, go into design and sizing, and we're gonna go ahead and do 100% full width. And then here on max width, you wanna open that up as well and say 100%. And that will stretch it beautifully there, so nice, and you're gonna see that padding kind of extend back out. Now, if you don't like four, if that's just too much, you can opt for three columns and, and let the pictures just kind of breathe a little bit. You can also choose, if you're gonna go that large, you might wanna choose that larger size for those images um, so that, that it's not pixelated, right? Nice and clean. If you want them to be clickable, you can set this to a light box and have them then be clickable so that they can open them up and see them even more. Let me show you one other really cool feature. If you didn't want three columns on a cell phone, you can go to cell phone mode, go into that mobile view, and you can say only two columns, right? And look how beautiful that is. So clean, so pretty. For those of you who might not be running Divi, there's another option for you. Uh, they do have a free version of this plugin, but the free version does not have the masonry option, which is really what I love about the gallery that I was just sharing with you. But this particular plugin does offer the masonry gallery in the pro version, but it also offers just a really beautifully well done photo gallery. Uh, so in the budget of free, this could be your option to drop into Divi or any other theme for that matter. If you have just a couple extra bucks, you can come in and it really has some incredible features when you start to upgrade into a paid version of this plugin. You can see here their example. These are some of the other options that they have, a carousel. They even have a video gallery option inside of here that's pretty cool, an Instagram feature. I mean, they've got some pretty cool uh, really nice, beautifully well done features on their pro version. So I think right now, I think it's a $30 license for this if you upgrade uh, to that option. So it might be something that meets your budget needs and really just adds that extra wow factor for your website. Hey y'all, I hope this was helpful for you. Be sure to check out all of my YouTube videos here, all in the budget of free for you. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Every Wednesday, I'm right back here helping you improve your online marketing inside the world of WordPress. If you'd like to research more of these tutorials, I have a link to my website in the description box below as well. You can go check that out. And if you have your own concerns about WordPress, maybe you've got a couple of questions, drop those in the thread below as well. Leave a comment and I'll try to answer your questions. I hope you're having a great one. Please stay safe. I will see y'all next week. Bye everyone.